Hi, my name is Richard Price. I'm with High Tech Battery Solutions. And today we're going to be uh, taking apart an RBC44 cartridges, uh, cartridge and replacing the batteries inside of it. Uh, inside the cartridge itself are going to be eight 12 volt, 5 amp hour high rate discharge batteries. Uh, we have them available on our site for $99.95 with free shipping. I'm going to assume you already have those present for you for this installation. Uh, the tools that we're going to need here are pretty simple and straightforward. We're going to need a pair of uh, needle nose pliers. It just makes life a lot easier for you. And uh, we're going to need a um, Phillips head screwdriver as well. Um, to get started here, there's going to be two Phillips head screws right on this side of the cartridge opposite of the plug. We're going to remove those to take the cover off. Alright, once you remove those, the cover actually slides off, so you probably just take your flathead screwdriver and give it a couple nudges on the side to get that cover off. Alright, and it should just lift right off there. Okay, and we'll take out these plastic wire protectors, and this is the pack. Uh, might look a little complicated if you haven't done it before, uh, but it's actually pretty simple. Um, the, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take all the wires off the pack here in the very beginning, and then we're going to take the batteries out all in one go. Uh, I have included a diagram in this actual description for you that you can take a look at if you get confused. It shows you basically how the batteries are placed in there, uh, positive, negative, facing, everything you would need to know if you started from scratch without any batteries whatsoever. Uh, so don't freak out there. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start taking the wires off here. I'm going to remove this one here first. And the thing, the, the reason I like the needle nose pliers is because there is actually a little bit of a latch in here. Uh, so if you squeeze it right here, it releases that latch and makes it a lot easier to pull off the terminals of the battery and it'll actually keep it intact uh, much better uh, than actually straining to pull it off there. So when you put your replacement batteries in, they'll fit nice and snug for you. Alright, now that we got the actual wires off, I'm going to take the batteries out and just to help us keep track of which way they went in, uh, I'm just going to put them right in the other side of the cartridge here. Make sure you keep a hold of these spacers because we're going to be reusing those. wire. That's just easier to take off if I can move the battery out a little bit. Okay, so now that we have the tray empty and our orientation of batteries correct, let's go ahead and fill it up with the brand new batteries all in one go. And I just connect this one wire here. Just makes everything a little bit simpler. And don't forget to use these. Let's put these back in place.
All right, so once the first set of four is in, I'm gonna go ahead and start over here at the farthest side because the battery actually kind of goes in here. Whoops. Just like that. that's going to be our last one and you want to have a little space left in between here uh, this is where this gray wire is going to sit the extra slack from it all right so what we're going to do here is we're just going to wire it back up exactly the way we took it off uh, the wire I like to start with is going to be this one it has the linkable fuse in there so we'll put that on first and it's gonna be a tight squeeze and don't worry about bending the wire there uh, it's soldered directly to the board so you won't sever any connection. And then I'll, I'm just going to finish off the wiring on this side here. And that's going to be all the long pieces here to make the connection from positive to negative. Okay. I'm just, this wire does go here. I'm just going to leave this one for last just because I like to have access to this side without anything interfering. So let's go ahead and wire up the other side and it's going to be all of these bent connectors again to make that positive and negative connection on this side. Like I said, you do have uh, that diagram available. It's going to be in the description there. Uh, make sure you use that. If you're confused or have any doubts or anything like that, go ahead and pause the video or take a look at that diagram to make sure you're wiring it upright. Alright, so all our wires are in place here. So the last one is going to be this gray one here. Go ahead and put that down. Make our last connection. And there you go. RBC44, at least one of the cartridges, there's two included in the RBC44, is ready to go. And that didn't take long at all. Uh, even if you're a novice at this, this, like I said, is going to be one of the easier replacement battery kits to get started on, that's for sure. So we're going to put on our black wire protectors here, just like it came out of the pack. And we're going to put our cover on. Cover sometimes is tricky. If you have a warped unit or something that's been in service for far too many years, got heated up and warped, uh, you're going to want to make sure that these line up with the holes in the side. Okay, once you've got everything lined up there, all you need to do is go ahead and push the cover forward. All right, and usually I just take the end of this, end of the screwdriver there and nudge the end forward. All right, goes right forward, and then we put our screws back in the side there, and this thing is all set. Cool. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this is a video on how to assemble the RBC44. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section or you can give us a call toll free at 1-877-775-4381 or shoot us an email or me in particular at richard at techbatterysolutions.com and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.